Well, this is what the Furnace Town parking lot looks like. Just a big, open, sandy parking lot. Doesn't seem like many people are gonna be here ever during the off season. So it is a pretty good camping spot, honestly. That was my spot for the night, just right next to the woods. It's 7.30 right now, I woke up at like six. And I'm gonna head to Assateague and make breakfast, I think. So this is Old Ferry's Landing. Are you just saying that? No. Yeah, no problem. It's okay. She was way out of my league anyway. It's all good. <laughs> she was whipping around the, an Escalade or something like that, so. breakfast that isn't oatmeal either. I think I'm either gonna flip a coin and see whether I want to do a little kayaking trip or do a little uh, a road trip to another small town that no one really goes to. So I'm headed to Deal Island and I'm excited to explore um, an area that not many people do and not many people know about.
mean, it is an island, but it feels like it's sinking. You can, you can see it. I didn't know you could drive through there. Can you can you do that? It says uh, electric motor motors only. Is that all right? The, can I do that? Yeah, in the water. Oh, in the water? Yeah, it's talking about the water? I don't want boats in there. All right, I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, oh, sweet. Yeah, so where, where does it go? Where does it, it go to? It's a dead do? end, but it goes down. I went to the one, the one restaurant, the one store at the end of, uh, at the end of the island, and the lady at the register. I just wanted to go in, and I just bought a soda, just cause, just to see what it was like and everything. And I asked if there was anything to see, and she was like, "Nope." <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> there's nothing to see. But she said you can go into the wildlife management area, and I don't know. That's all she really told me. But it was like a little gas station convenience store slash restaurant slash bar is just basically the a hangout probably for the fishermen by the dock it's probably the most southern accent marylander i've ever heard <laughs> um and she was very very stern and to the point and it was funny but um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to see on this island, but I think I saw it, and it's a, it's a cool little spot, and I enjoyed learning about the history of it. It'll be interesting to see how they um, respond to the changes in weather and the changes in climate and how this area holds up.